Fascinating and revealing report by the Xinhua University. They've said that extensive cloud seeding was used by China to clear the skies of pollution for a recent political event to artificially produce a blue sky for their population and the world's media. How did they do that? Well, cloud seeding really works by adding tiny particulate matter to water vapor in a potential cloud to form raindrops, which get heavy enough to fall out of the cloud. The South China Morning Post reported a recent research paper which found definitive signs that cloud seeding operations on the eve of the Chinese centenary produced a marked drop in visible air pollution. The report goes on to say that the Chinese faced unprecedented problems about the pollution over Beijing for their celebration. There was an unexpected increase in air pollution which they hadn't accounted for. The Chinese government did try and influence the matter by closing down the dirtiest of the polluting factories a few days before their event. But that didn't work. The atmospheric pollution was still there, causing these type of horrid, hazy skies. So, according to the report, the Chinese government scientist Wang Can said a cloud seeding operation was launched just before the ceremony. How does it work? Well, witnesses saw small rockets being fired up into potential rain clouds above Beijing. And that would work. Let me explain the process. A cloud is just water vapor. And most of the time, it doesn't rain. Although there's thousands of gallons of potential water in the cloud, if the water doesn't form droplets, which overcome gravity and make rain, it'll just be reabsorbed as the sun comes up and the atmosphere can hold more water vapor when it's warm and the cloud disappears. So is there a way to turn the water vapor in a cloud into droplets which will fall on the farmer's field? Yes! If you can put nanoparticles in the cloud, the water vapor will tend to stick around them and get slightly bigger and then slightly bigger again till the point they overcome gravity and fall as rain. One technique is to fly through the cloud giving out these silver iodine particles and other stuff, no doubt, to stick to the water, make droplets and make it rain. So did it work? Yes, look at these pictures. Blue sky. The World Health Organization said that the air quality index on that day in Beijing had moved from poor to good. Of course, it's only a temporary fix turn back on your factories, make all that nasty pollution, and the sky is no longer blue. But China are doing this, and they're taking it very seriously. They have a program to cloud seed 5.5 million kilometers of their country. But it's a bit selfish. First of all, it doesn't address the real problem, which is the pollution. And second of all, if your country is raining, it tends to stop it raining in the countries next door. <laughs> but doing it for a political rally is pretty weird. But they've done it before. They did it for the 2008 Olympics, where the world had noticed what a dirty place Beijing is. And it's probably our fault for moving all our manufacturing to China and then buying it all back on Amazon. But China is an ideal place to do cloud seeding because they have the government, the socialism to impose pollution restrictions and a big program to do something like make it rain. <laughs> but I think cloud seeding for political propaganda to have a nice air show is a bit off. The truth is out there.